My friends, we're going to evaluate the integral of e to the negative x cos x from 0 to infinity, and this is a sneaky integral to do. It's not too bad, but we're going to do it using integration by parts, and this is the most popular way. This isn't my favorite way to do it, but watch this method, and then go check out the way that I prefer, and you can decide which version that you like better. Okay, so we're going to set u equal to e to the negative 2x, and then dv equal to cos x dx. We'll take the derivative to get du equal to negative 2e to the negative 2x dx, and then integrate dv to get sine x right here. Now if we take these and plug them into the integration by parts formula, you can pause the video if you like, but you'll get this. This is u times v minus the integral of v du, and this negative cancels out with this minus sign right here. Now we're going to evaluate this term here. And that's pretty sweet because in the limit as x goes to infinity, this term goes to zero and sine of zero is zero. So this whole term is zero, which is pretty nice. So our integral that we're aiming to evaluate becomes the integral of two times e to the negative two x sine x. Now, it doesn't look like we did much here. <laughs> we just exchanged a cosine for a sine. But here's the tricky part. We're going to do integration by parts again. And we're gonna set u equal to two times times e to the negative 2x, dv equal to sine of x dx. So we'll take the derivative, du equals to negative 4 e to the negative 2x, and then v equals negative cos x, and we'll plug these into our formula for integration by parts into here to give us this right here. This is u times v minus the integral of v du. Now, I also, I brought this 4, I brought the 4 out of the integral sign, and we're going to evaluate this term, which isn't too bad. So in the limit as x goes to infinity, this term goes to 0 because of the negative exponent. This is 1, and then cos of 0 is 1. So this whole thing becomes positive 2, which is awesome. Remember, this is a 1, so this negative makes it minus 1, negative 1, but, the, but these two negatives cancel, so we're left with 2 right here. And what we're going to do now is substitute the i, what i is, the integral that we're aiming to evaluate into here. And if you notice these two integrals, we've now recreated the same integral that we're trying to solve. So to solve for it, we'll combine the terms, we'll move this over to the other side, there's now five of them, and then we'll divide by five and we get our answer. So the integral of e to the negative two x cos x is two divided by five. Like I mentioned, this isn't my favorite way to do it. You should definitely, definitely check out the easier version, what I think is the easier version, and it's just another tool that you have in your integration toolkit.